Good evening everyone, this is uh, Reading for Charity again. Um, a day late, for which I apologise. Um, it was completely avoidable and therefore my fault. Uh, I was intending to be back in time last night and I ended up uh, drinking far longer than I intended to. So, yes, we've got it today instead. Um, if, you've, if you've not seen any of these before, this is uh, we're doing a, a charity read, 100 books in a year, um, to raise money for the Archie Foundation. It's a fantastic charity. Um, I'll add the links to them in the description of the video, um, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch. Please donate. It's a fantastic charity. They help sick kids in northeast of Scotland. It's a great thing to support. Um, today's review: Black Adder, the whole damn dynasty. There we go. It is uh, a tremendous book. Black Adder is genuinely one of the funniest shows, in my opinion. Uh, it's fantastically well written. Um, every single episode of it almost without exception I think is is fantastically well written not many TV shows you can say that about um, this book is essentially all the scripts from every single episode of the four seasons uh, and some extra bits and pieces you know in between them um, you know there's lists of things people died from in um, Elizabeth's reign there's you know descriptions of um, uh, 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 military orders from the from the fourth season. There's you know, bits and pieces there, so it's not just the scripts. There's some extra stuff as well, which they obviously added for um, comic relief. Uh, now the book itself, it's it's written in script form, therefore it's relatively easy going. Um, it's you know a, a hefty watch book. It's six hundred odd pages, I think. Uh, yeah, no, it's five hundred pages, um, which is it, it's it, it looks bigger than it actually is. Uh, it didn't take me long to read it, mostly because I think I know most of the scripts off by heart and, and can, I'm chortling at the jokes before, you know, three pages before I actually reach them. Um, the the writing of the of the scripts is is fantastic. They are so tightly written. It, it's one of that one of that genre of comedy writing that um, it's it's so fantastically well done in that it's either setting up a joke telling a joke or revisiting a joke and um, there's there's a handful of, of comedies which I, th I think do that so Blackadder is definitely one of them uh, Faulty Towers was another one um, you know some from a classic BBC era um, Red Dwarf in terms of films uh, films like uh, Clue Clue's a really good example uh, Airplane Airplane the first Airplane film is another one there's not a single wasted line in any of those shows or any of those films everything is entirely to do with setting up a joke or telling a joke or revisiting the same joke they're they're fantastically well scripted because they're so tightly done and everything is hilarious so total fanboy when it comes to this this is this is a hardly an uncritical review um, because there's <laughs> I can't say much bad um, about Blackadder it's tremendous I mean it's obvious that the in my opinion that the first season is the weakest one um, where they were still kind of doing a, um, a Macbeth-esque um, parody. Um, and it wasn't really until season two that they really kind of found the 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 way that they were going to go for the rest of them. Um, you know, with, with Blackadder being the, the toady to power. And then kind of when working from there. And it's, I think season, uh, season two is probably the best season as well. Though season four is, you know... The, the famous one, you know, when they go over the top and it fades to fades to black and then it fades to you know to the sound of gunfire, and switches to the field of uh, of poppies. It's it's genuinely if you can watch the last episode of of Blackadder goes forth, um, without a tear in your eye at the end, it's you are a hard person. Um, it's a truly moving um, episode. Um, and even reading it, because I think it's because I've seen the episode so many times, you know. Um, and it's, they give the description of it in the in the in the script, which is nothing compared to what it's like on screen. But even still, I'm imagining what's the bit that's on screen because it's so well done. Um, so yes, this isn't going to be a long review today at all. Um, this is it's a, a fantastic show. The book is it's literally a list of scripts. There's there's not much to. Um, to talk about because it's all dialogue and stage direction so you don't have epic amounts of sweeping prose 
that you're supposed to find cleverness in. There's no, you know, 30 page descriptions of the single tear found nestling within the, a flower. You know, there's none of that nonsense. Yes. Um, it is just straight up hilariously well written dialogue. Um, <clears throat> now it comes down to, you know, should you read this as a book? Should you read this as a book? Genuinely, I would probably say not. Um, there's there's a few there's a few kind of changed lines in the way that the delivery happens with this, but you you always end up just hearing um, Rowan Atkinson's voice in your head when he's delivering the lines, especially things like you know the Bob, you know the episode with uh, the the last who's pretending to be the, the the male servant, and he falls in love with her slash him. Um, all, the, all the delivery in that scene um, when Lord Flashheart bursts in. It can it works so much better on TV than it does in the book because the actors act it perfectly, deliver it perfectly, you know. So, however well written this is, this is one of the occasions where having it having been written for TV and, and performed on TV is probably better than reading it in the book. Um, and there's not many things that you can say that about. But again, this is just a list of scripts. Um, should you read this book? Should you read this book? Um, honestly, probably not. Um, I would recommend. Rather than spending uh, eight ten hours reading the book, I would suggest go and watch the the programs instead. You have um, what there's twelve hours worth of, of viewing there, six episodes half an hour each, three hours twenty four yeah twelve hours um, worth of viewing in Black Adder, and you will spend a really enjoyable twelve hours watching them rather than reading the book. I I guarantee you. Um, so in one of these, this is one of the rare occasions when I say no, don't read the book. Go watch TV series instead, um, definitely. But I enjoyed, I enjoyed watching, I enjoyed reading this, um, mostly because I enjoy watching it. Um, and so a chance to just go through them again was just, it was enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. So yes, not too much else to say, really. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic TV show, the scripts are good, but and it's purely down to how well they're written, and it, they're so tightly done. Um, there's not a wasted line. There's barely a wasted syllable in the uh, in the writing uh, that doesn't serve as a joke. Um, even the weaker ones, uh, and I think of the weaker ones like the Doctor Johnson one when he's got the dictionary. That's a relatively weak one. Um, and even though that's got the weak one, it's still got some fantastic jokes at the expense of the likes of Lord Byron. Um, you know, when he goes into the shop and it's just full of uh, feet artists who nevertheless will uh, defend Dr. Johnson and chop up Blackadder if the, the dictionary is scrapped. Uh, even the, the fact that the overriding story, which is Dr. Johnson and, the, and the, the dictionary, is not very good. The other bits surrounding it, such as the Lord Byron, they're so well done. You know, it make, you know even the weak episodes are fantastic. Um... There's, again, there's very, very few shows which have that. I think I've I said all of them at the top of uh, at the top of the video. So, with no more blabbering, no more fanboying over this. Uh, don't bother reading the book. Go watch Black Adder. You'll, if you've never seen it before, it's a genius level comedy. Um, even if you're not a fan of Owen Atkinson, even if you're not a fan of the subject matter. You can appreciate how clever the writing is um, and how good the dialogue is in this in, in this show. Yeah. Okay. Black Arrow. Done. So uh, the next review will still be Wednesday, um, and it's going to be Porno by Irving Welsh, um, which I'm not going to talk about yet. That'll be. I'll, I'll save that for Wednesday. Um, this one was slow going as well, but we'll get there. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Um, this is Reading for Charity. We're reading for the Archie Foundation. It's a fantastic charity. Supports kids in North East of Scotland. Um, have to go in hospitals. Um, I'm really, really happy to be raising money for them. I really want to raise more. So if you've never donated, please go ahead, donate some money. Throw a couple of pounds. It's fantastic. If you have donated before, thank you very much. Please donate again. Um, and until Wednesday, thank you very much for watching. Um, and good evening.